Yes, everyone on Louder, thank you so much for having us here in your uh, King David suite. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you. Today, a unique extravaganza of uh, support to the state uh, of Israel. How significant it is to uh, our current stance in the international arena. The evangelicals, which are here today, are the critical support for Israel. Today in the world, Israel is being hit in many different directions. And we have one great friend, the evangelicals. And they represent the United States, 37% of the population. That's roughly 80 million people, 100 million people. Very important. And what do these uh, American supporters think about the strain between uh, Washington, the White House, and uh, the Prime Minister of Israel? Well, you're making an assumption about a strain. Um, the fact is that uh, Americans are very much behind Israel. The American administration is standing behind Israel. So uh, was uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, uh, Mr. Netanyahu, wrong? to uh, cause uh, a certain strain uh, with uh, President Obama, referring to uh, American values, etc.? First of all, I believe very much in Prime Minister Netanyahu. I think he's a great Prime Minister. The speech he gave at the UN was brilliant. Brilliant because it, it touched many different areas. But one area he touched, which is Iran, which is the greatest problem not only for Israel, but for the world. Apart from uh, the uh, professional uh, admiration uh, to uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, you used uh, to be a very good uh, friend. Uh, does this uh, friendship still uh, prevail? I've been his friend for 35 years. I expect to be his friend, hopefully, for another 35 years. I must tell you, um, he is a great Prime Minister. I support him. He is a great communicator for the American people and for people all over. When he gives a speech, he presents Israel in the best possible light. A few months ago, uh, you called uh, for museums in the United States and uh, in Europe to return art that was uh, stolen by the Nazis from Jews during uh, World War II, during the Holocaust. Uh, their uh, explanations uh, that you cited uh, were outrageous. Is there a way to make them change their mind? German museums have a great deal of Jewish art. It was bought during the war. I say bought in the sense where it was gotten from Jewish home. The question is, they've resisted up until now, someone going in and seeing what's there. We know what's there. Many of the paintings are in their cellar, many of the paintings are hidden away, or the records are lost. The German government has assured me that they will put together a commission to look into it, to go from museum to museum and see what can be done. Museums don't want to give up paintings that easily because a lot of these paintings are the best paintings they have. It's a long, hard fight. Can you give us uh, a number? How many pieces of art did you rescue uh, recently? Re what's recently? Recently, in the last 10 years? Um, Let's talk about... Hundreds, uh, if not more. Uh, it could be almost a thousand. 